YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today, I'm doing my best to upload about four reactions. I've already carried out Diana Akridinova from Russia. I've carried out Yacht Talk featuring Stormzy and featuring Koreshi Arthur. That was from Ghana and my third reaction is going to be called and I've got it written it down all in weird genius featuring um Tabitha and I hope I'm getting right like, Tabitha nausea um this is the legends or is it um the, the league of league of legends or the legends of league um um I'm reading it, it's the League of Legends Wild Riffs. So there you go. That's going to be my next reaction. I'm looking forward to this, to be fair, um, because this was recommended to me. And so, and I'd say a big, massive thank you for that. Um, but before I react to that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there are amazing artists, which I do not want you to miss out on. I'm talking about amazing artists with low subscribers and low views mixed up with amazing artists with high subscribers and high views. And if you do your comparison, you're going to come to the realisation that these artists are equally as good as any top list A-list artists out there. They really are. You will not be disappointed. I promise you on that one. Now, if you are an artist or indeed know an artist, then please go over to my community page and leave your links there and I will get back to you. I promise you on that one. Now, as well as that, there's a number of links in my about page that will take you straight over to any one of my social media platforms. And when you do, please leave me a voice message because I would love to hear your voice. Incidentally, Instagram, Uncle Mama Muzu Reactions, please leave me a voice message there. I would love to hear your voice. Now, we have gone past 2,000 uh, sorry, 4,500. Our target for this year is 5,000. And when we reach to that 5,000, I'm going to start doing the live streams and start doing the interviews. So please, this month, we go and try our best to hit that target of 5,000 subscribers for this month. Right, let's read a couple of your comments, then go straight into my next reactions. Right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Andrea Satu, good morning. He goes, Mato S. Mun Munit. Um, uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that is kind of a Spanish somewhere. Um, Andrea Satchu, um, Dan, why love you? Thank you very much. I think you're talking about the um, Dan Belland. Um, he is an amazing artist as well. Um, you asked me about Carla's Dream as well. Uh, amazing artist, really is. Um, Jazzy Boy, good morning. How you doing? Alex BL, good morning. He's asked me to react to um, Subcapati. Go into my video page and check it out. I have reacted to a number of Subcapati um, tracks as well. If you go into my community page, you see my re into reactions with the um, Subcapati guys. They are really, really, really amazing. And I am so proud that um, I found that particular artist on my own. And it's developed into such a lovely... Um, um, interaction with each other. It really is. Like I said, check out, go into my community page and work away from the bottom and you see all the interactions that I've had with particular artists that I've had the pleasure of carrying out my reactions to. Good morning, Roadrunner. How you doing, mate? Uh, and I, there was a message about me saying, mate. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but I'll, I'll stop and go on to something else. Um, Posey, good morning. He goes, I conventionally translated the, the last song uh, as soon as it came out. I've missed this look of yours. Boyish, wild, passionate, hot, sweet look. Thank you very much posy um <laughs> yeah thank you very much uh Renny jensen's it goes it's great song and it's among my top pick from the album but the album is good and it's not my absolute top pick i recommend you to react to the ballad of the album called rivers and um, this is talking about um epita and um, epica um with the um i think the track is called skeleton key absolutely brilliant track right let's go straight into my next reaction um which is all in weird genius um, featuring tabitha um nausea and i hope i'm saying that name right and it's a league of legends um wild riff so you know what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video all joe music can you dig it
Tabitha um, is it Anosia? Um, I thought that All In Genius was going to represent and be a part of um, this particular collaboration um, but as you can see it was only Tabitha that, that was doing the, the track so was it um, All In Genius that was done the producing of the track or they're just showing their faces because I was listening to the backing vocals I was looking, listening to all different kind of things but I didn't hear anything to, uh, with the All In Genius um, Wild Genius so that's my only small critique is this track okay? Yes, it is. It's lovely. I liked it. I love the visual elements of it. I like all the parts that, um, you know, the Wild Genius created as well. And they was in it. They was part participating in the video. But like I said, there was no singing part from them. There was no rapping part from them. So why would they say featuring if they're not doing anything regarding the um, the music? Unless, like I said, the cameo appearance should have been that. Cameo, cameo appearances when they, you're, you're in the video, but you're not, you know, you're not, you haven't got no part to play, you haven't got no lyrics to say, you haven't got no rapping to do, you're just making a cameo appearance. So this is what I think that was, a cameo, a cameo appearance. Um, so it was, it was, it was almost like um, a letdown because when you look at the title and you see, you see all the people that is featuring in, in there, you're expecting them to play some kind of part in it. Um, so, and you didn't. So that for me was a highlight that was let down apart um but after you know you realize that they're not going to participate in the way that you want them to participate then it just leaves you space to look at um tabitha and say right okay what are you doing and she did not disappoint um she had the backing of the of the guys and the girls um as you can see in the video but it was almost like that this was done separately that one um she was doing the video at that place then they done the editing part and created that part for her um so let me know about that is this two separate different kind of video songs where they just sort of like fuse them together to make one track. Um, I've seen that so many times with um, the uh, um, with the subscribers when they do their own thing and they do their own collage and montage um, to to pay homage to their favourite artists. So is this one of these things like that, or is this the way how it should be? Um, if it is the way how it should be, then it's this. It's, it's certainly scratched my head a little bit because, um, like I said, I expect them all to participate and not just Tass, um, Tabitha. Um, so I'm going to go away from this negative vibe and go for something that's more positive. She can sing. She looks brilliant. She looks vibrant. She looks amazing. Um, she, she, I would like to hear a slow song so I can hear a vocal capacity. It, can she hold her own? Um, has she got some a, a vocals and, and riffs which everybody's, it comes to everybody's delight when when she's doing a slow ballad song has she got the most um the uh, emotion emotional prowess to bring me in closer to make me feel oh this is such an amazing song by an amazing artist has she got that or does she need the um the collaboration of the um, of amazing artists like all um all ingenious um i i don't think so i'm, I'm a bit minari about this one i really am because it didn't even like I said, even though it is an amazing track, it didn't really show off her vocal capabilities to the way how um, me to Faye, okay, she's, you know, she stands out. She is like the, um, you know, the Beyonce. She's like, um, you know, the, the the Katy Perry's and all, and all that elements. Oh, and I'm sure what she wants to excel to and then climb to and, and touch those kind of artists. Um, I, like I said, for me, the title was much bigger than the actual performance. That's how I'm looking at it, um, because you, once you look at the title, you're expecting so much things, and to see the performance, um, like I said, even though the performance was great, it was it didn't set me up to say right, I'm looking forward. I mean, I was looking forward to the title rather than the actual artist, 
and, and that's where the slope came down for me. It's like, oh, well, you know, where's this part? Where's that person? Why is that person jumping in? Um, that's what it led, it, 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 it created more questions than answers, this particular track. Um, I need to hear her on her own. I, I mean, this is her on her own, but I need to hear her where it's more up and personal, where there's just, you know, maybe her and the guitar um, doing something. Um, I've seen what she does um, in this kind of, um, I, I don't know what she was trying to prove here. I really don't. Because if you're gonna do it, like I said, if you're gonna do a collaboration, then you do it right. Um, but. Uh, like I said, I'm not taking nothing away from the artist. I'm not saying that the artist can't sing. I'm not saying the artist can't dance. She has um, an amazing um, vocals. Um, she's got the, the flow and she's got the moves as well. Um, but it's just a case of like, well, you've got all that. What's the point of having the wild genius there if you're going to do this all on your own? Show me something that you do on your own. Show me something that is quietly yours. Or is it a case of the wild genius? They're the ones who actually produce the track in itself. Um, it's left me in a, um, in a confusing stage. It really has. Um, but I'm not going to take anything away from uh, the brilliant artist, uh, what is Tabitha. Um, I need now to go into finding out what is um, all genius, um, all, all wild genius. I need to find out who they are and then I can separate the two artists um, together. It sounds to me that all genius is um, a guy group and a girl group all mixed up into, into one. It looks like there's about, say, seven of them or eight of them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But for now, I'm going to delve, um, divulge deeper into um, these two artists separately and come up with my own terminology. But right now, I can't not... I can't do it with this one. Um, it's it's um, set for saying, yeah, Tabitha, yeah, she's a good artist. Um, she creates a, a nice vibe, but I was expecting much more because of the title. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Um, so, um, yeah, overall, great track. And for that reason, Tabitha, I salute you.